Well, welcome to the Getting Started with TypeScript series. My name is Dan Wallin. I'm a cloud developer advocate at Microsoft. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through what TypeScript is really all about. They do call it TypeScript for a reason because of the types it supports. So we're going to go through some of the primitive types it supports, show some examples of those in action, and I'll also show you some other things. Uh, some of those I'm going to have other videos on because they deserve even more attention. But let's go ahead and jump right in. So you can go to typescriptlang.org slash play or just typescriptlang.org and click on playground at the top to get to here. Now, once you're here, there might be some code it'll add for you. You could just delete that out and we're going to start from scratch. So if you want to kind of play along with me, feel free. Now, the first thing we're going to do is just to find some variables and we're going to clarify what's called primitive types. Now, there's a lot of different types you can have in the JavaScript world. Types could be undefined. Types could be null. Types could be a string or a number or Boolean, things along those lines. Normally in JavaScript, you just create variables, you create function parameters, and you don't really worry about that. But there's a lot of benefits, a lot of guardrails you can add to help us as developers out when you use TypeScript types. So let me show you some examples. So I showed one earlier in the very first video in the series, and that's if we were to have a function called add, and it takes an X and a Y or an A and B or whatever it is, then we could return X plus Y. But notice these are red. Now the reason is that they don't have a data type, and right now our tsconfig settings say that we must assign a data type. We can't implicitly have what's called an any. Now, any is the first one, though, I'm going to show you. It's one that I don't use a lot. In fact, I try to avoid it, but it is useful on some occasions. This means X and Y can be assigned anything. So that means if I were to call add and pass in 2 plus 2 here, that's going to work. Or I could call add and do 2 and 2 with numbers. Or I could even do add and do true and false. Now, that isn't something we probably want to do, though, but it would take it because it's an any. So it's very flexible. But with TypeScript, the reason we use types is we have a set of types that will allow us to lock down our parameters and our variables. Now, the primitive ones that you're going to hear about and see are number, which I'm going to use here, string, array, and Boolean. Let me add a comma in there. So let's come on back, and just like I showed earlier, we could do number, and we could do number here. Now, that would be one simple example. Of course, we could also do something like let age equal 5, and if I mouse over 5, you'll notice it automatically assigned it as a number. I could do this, but it would be redundant because TypeScript has type inference built in, and what that means is it looks at what's on the right side of the equals and detects that's a number and automatically did the equivalent of that. But that's what you could do. Now I'm gonna explicitly write these out for you so that you can see them, but just know that in real code, I don't put that if it can infer the type on the right. But this will be good for learning purposes. Now we also have strings. So you could have your last name. And we can mark that as a string. I'll put mine. We could have uh, an array. So let's have a pets array. Now with arrays, you could have arrays of strings, collections if you're new to this, basically multiple items. And we could have a string array with pet names. We could have a number array, maybe the number of pets. I don't know why, but we could. Uh, and we could have others as well. Now I'm gonna do a string array. And this is the way you mark in TypeScript that this pets variable can have multiple items. That's kind of the box. I think of this as a box of items. And then what's in the box for each item? They're each going to be a string. And then I'm going to initialize this as an empty array. And we're going to come back to that and I'll show you what that does for us. And then finally, we might have like an is loaded variable of type Boolean. And we'll say it is loaded. We'll mark that as true. Now, those are our primitives, but there's others, of course. We could even do um, let, let's just say foo, 
Now watch if I do undefined here. This is marking it as a variable that's undefined, but that's the default in JavaScript. If I just do this, foo is now undefined. We never assigned it anything. It was never used yet, so it's just undefined. But undefined is built into TypeScript. We could also say foo is null. That's another keyword that TypeScript understands and supports. And there's even others. We could do one called never, unknown. We're not going to go into those in this video, but there's some others out there as well. Now, for these primitives, what's really nice is now if I come down and try to change age to a string version, look what happens there. We get the guardrails come up. Type string is not assignable to type number. Now, in normal JavaScript, this would totally work, though, because in JavaScript, you can just kind of overwrite variable locations in memory, and that would be okay, but this is the guardrails. This is good. I want it to tell me that. Or likewise, if I did last name equals a number, that's not going to work either because you can't assign a number to that. Now, I could do this, age to string here. Now, that's going to work because although this is a number, we convert it to a string. Therefore, it was able to assign that to last name because it's a string. Okay, and then uh, for pets. Now, what's nice about pets, because it's an array, and I said it's not an any, it's a string array. Well, now when I do something like push an item into the collection, into the array, we can do pets.push, look what it tells me I can pass, a string. So I could pass in Fido, pets.push, put your favorite, you know, your pet name here <laughs> would work. But if I try to do this or this, notice we get the guardrails come up. We get TypeScript kind of hollering back at us. Nope, you can't do that. That's the big, big benefit of TypeScript is that once you assign these data types and use some of these primitives, you can then only use that particular value unless you convert it to some other uh, means. Now, there are other custom data types you can do as well. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek. We'll have a whole video on this, but you can define what's called interfaces. So for instance, I could say that we could have a customer that has first name that's a string and last name that's a string. And this is actually making an object structure you'll notice this never makes it over. In fact, none of the data types ever make it over into the compiled JavaScript because what I'm showing you with the data types, and in this case, the interface, this is all a TypeScript feature. Browsers or Node.js or whatever you're using TypeScript for, they don't understand data types. Therefore, we compile it down, as we've already talked about, into just plain JavaScript. Well, interface is one of those TypeScript only things, just like these data types are, but we can use this in the following way. We could say customer is of type customer, and now when I assign a object to it, it goes red because it's missing first name and last name. An interface is what we call a code contract, and it basically allows us to find the shape of an object and if I am then using that shape of object, which I am right there, if I forget to put what's in that object uh, definition, you could say, the shape of it, then I get an error. So now I'd have to put first name and last name. And then notice the red goes away and we're good to go. But if I forgot to put one of those, such as last name, watch what happens. It actually tells me last name is missing. Very, very nice. So this is just a quick introduction to types. I'll have some other videos that'll dive into other aspects of this, but this is something that you can definitely play around with. Let me go ahead and put this back so it works if you're following along like that. And as we dive into the other videos, you're gonna see me using these types. I just won't spend much time talking about them. But this will get you started, and I would highly encourage you to play around with it. Please like and subscribe so you can know when other videos come out, and we'll see you in the next video.